guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter. And this week's bonus tutorial is a really special collaboration with Tiffany, also known as Cupcake. Whether you're an anime fan or not, you know Totoro. You've either seen the pictures or watched the movie, you know who Totoro is. And so Tiffany and I decided to work on a theme of Totoro. Make sure you check out Tiffany's video on her super adorable Totoro themed earrings. They are just so cute. While you're there, don't forget to subscribe. Her channel has some of the cutest crafts and not just polymer clay crafts. Tiffany works with makeup, costumes, wires. She has a huge array of different kinds of crafts. So give her much love. She also has a gaming channel that is really fun to watch. Don't forget to subscribe to that one as well. And so for this week, you guys will learn how to make these super adorable dangling Totoro earrings. They are holding onto your earlobes as though they're going to fall. They are so fun and playful. I wore them and everyone is just telling me how adorable they look. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. Here's what you'll need for this project. Gray clay, white mixed with a little bit of yellow, rounded and pointy tools, a cutter, a pair of post and studs, black and white acrylic paint, a good strong glue, and of course your rubbing alcohol and q-tip to clean up your piece in case you get any dust particles or fingerprints. The first thing we're going to do is take a small ball of our gray clay and then we're going to roll it out so that it's kind of like one of those Russian dolls look alike. Like so. Now you're going to lightly flatten the belly part down just so that it's not too round but we still want them chubby. And then you're going to take your finger and define the neck area a little bit more so that it looks like this on the side. Now you're going to take your little Totoro body and you're going to put it on the side. Once you have it there, you're going to make a little muzzle. You're just lightly going to push some of the clay upwards. There you go. Now for the arms, what you're going to do is you're going to take your gray clay, roll it out into a thick snake. Once you have that, you're going to position one upwards and the other one downwards so that the one that's up looks like it's holding on to your ear. Now, if you're making a pair of earrings, make sure that you do switch the arms sides. That way you have them both facing outwards instead of both facing inwards. So far, so good. Now for the feet, you're going to do exactly the same thing. Now just to be sure that the arm is straight enough for the post, just feel free to take your post and push it in a little bit. Now it should be good. Now take a small little snake and put it in the back of Totoro for his little tail. Now take your Q-tip, put it in your rubbing alcohol just so that it's wet and you're going to clean up your piece from any little dust particles and fingerprints that you may have gotten on there. Now for his belly, you're just going to take your yellowish white Flatten it out between your fingers and place it right on his tummy. Now clean it up with your rubbing alcohol and q-tip. Now for the ears, what you're going to do is roll out a thin snake and then you're going to cut out the ends that are a little more triangular than the rest. Once you have these two pieces, you're going to smooth them on the top part of the head. If you have liquid sculpey or bacon bond, feel free to put a little bit on the top. That way you're just securing it a little more. And now for the last bit of detail before we put them in the oven, what we're going to do is roll out a thin snake of our gray clay, cut out little strips, and then put them as the little designs on his tummy. There you go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bake them for 8 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. Here he is all baked. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your black paint, make a little nose, and then take your white to make two dots for the eyes. Make sure you make the whiskers while you're there. Make sure it's completely dry, and then you're going to do your two black dots inside those. Once everything is dry, do two little dots on the inside of the black ones. Here they are all painted. Now it's important, as I mentioned, to make sure that the arms are up on opposite directions, otherwise you're going to have them facing in weird directions. Once the paint has completely dried, feel free to glaze it. Once it's fully dried from the glaze, feel free to put on the posts on each arm, and then you're done. All done! Now don't forget to check out Tiffany's video and subscribe while you're there. Give her much, much love. I really enjoyed working with you, Tiffany. It was one of the easiest collaborations I've ever done. And if you guys want to make one Totoro and the other one a suit, who's to stop you? You're your own boss. Have fun. If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to add me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. Until then, I will see you guys next week.